my friends, Denise from Salvaged Inspirations and thanks for joining me today. Today I have such a fun makeover. I picked up this $35 Restore dresser and I transformed it into this $795 Marcel Anthropology lookalike. So I cannot wait to share how that all went down and I'm sharing one of my new favorite tools that I'm absolutely obsessed with. So just let me get set up and I'll be right back. Let's start, here's the fun part. Anthropology has some stunning furniture, but let's face it, it's not inexpensive. So when I saw my inspiration piece, I thought, challenge on. Make a $35 Restore Habitat for Humanity dresser look like a $798 Anthropology knockoff. Uh, so here's how this dresser maker all came together. And I'm also going to include a tally of how much it cost me to make this look alike at the end of this video. To prepare this dresser for paint, I gave it a really good cleaning with white lightning. Uh, then I removed all the original hardware and filled the old hardware holes with Bondo. And a Bondo is super durable. I can actually drill through it if I'm going to be putting in new hardware holes. It dries really, really rock hard and it's ready to sand within 10 minutes, which is why I love using this. Uh, it's just such a time saver. I have a full tutorial on how to use Bondo and I'll include that um, in the description below. I also removed the old drawer liners and numbered the back of the drawers. Uh, a pro tip, the drawers on these kind of older dressers can be really finicky. And I like to number the back of my drawers in pencil as I'm taking them out. This way, when I place them back into the dresser the same way they came out, it's a perfect fit. So I'll, I rest assured that they'll go back in perfectly. Once the Bondo was dry, I took my DeWalt Orbital Sander and sanded the top and the drawers down to bare wood. This gave me a clean slate, removing any scratches or little nicks that they had in it. Uh, to do this, I started with an 80 grit sandpaper and I worked my way up to a 220. For the rest of the body, I used my Orbital Sander to scuff sand using a 120 grit. Once the body of the dresser was all sanded, I took a tack cloth, removed all the dust, and then started priming. I used my favorite primer, Bin Shellac Based Primer, uh, and I use this on, I would say, 80-90% of all my pieces. It gets rid of all odors. It blocks all stains, including really bad bleed through. I have a full tutorial on how to use Bin Shellac Base Primer that I'll include in the description below. So while my primer was drying, I started on the drawers and I took another peek at the Anthropology Marcel three drawer dresser um, and I wanted the lines very similar to my inspiration piece, but I didn't really need them to be exact. Um, I, I, in my opinion, an inspiration piece is just that. It, it doesn't have to be an exact duplicate or an exact copy, but it's supposed to inspire you to create something similar. So what I did was I started by measuring the middle of each drawer and then using a straight edge, I worked my way to the edge of the drawer and I used a thicker straight straight edge to draw the thicker middle lines and then I took uh, a simple ruler and I used that to create the smaller thinner lines towards the outside of the drawer. I won't include the exact measurements uh, because your dresser, depending on its size, will be very different than mine. So all I can say is if you're going to replicate this, just make sure your lines are totally straight and square and visually pleasing to you before you start cutting. And let's talk about cutting. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with my new tool. 
This is a cordless Bosch mini circular saw and it's 85 millimeter blade, which I believe is just a touch over three inches. This is super light, it's easy to handle, and it cuts through everything like butter. I am just tickled pink with this tool. So to finish the design on my drawers, I set the depth of the blade for a couple of millimeters in, and then used a straight edge clamped to the front of the drawer as a straight guide. This technique will give you perfectly straight lines every time you use a circular saw. Just make sure you allow for the distance between the blade and the guide. Uh, so you wanna add that measurement to where you're placing your straight edge. I worked my way across the drawer doing line by line and I have to say I had so much fun using this tool. Once I had all my lines cut, I used a folded piece of sandpaper to sand in the grooves and smooth them all out. This took away any of the rough edges. I also wanted to get rid of the dated skirt and replicate the feet or the legs that were on the anthro inspiration piece. Uh, so to remove the skirt, I flipped the piece on its top and unscrewed the three boards that made the skirt up. They were really simple to remove. They were just held in by these screws. To make the base for the new legs, I used the long front piece of the skirt to create the new base to attach the legs to. So again, I got to use my Bosch circular saw to cut the original skirt, front skirt, in half. Uh, then I clamped it in place and I glued it and screwed it in place. Uh, I do have a Craig tool to attach things like this from in behind, but quite honestly, I've never taken it out of the box. Shame on me. <laughs> Um, because this makeover was taking me a little longer than my usual makeovers do, I decided to do it the quick and dirty way. So I screwed in the new baseboard from the front and back, countersinking the screw heads. And when you do it this way, obviously you have to fill in the screw heads, the countersunk screw heads with a little bit of wood fill and then do a little bit of patchwork with the priming and the paint. Once the base was firmly attached, I drilled four holes into the new base and screwed in the new feet. Uh, these are repurposed, I, I don't know whether to call them feet or legs, I guess they're mini legs. Uh, these are repurposed legs. Uh, I don't even know where I've gotten them from, to be quite honest, maybe off another piece or possibly my sister gave them to me, I'm not sure. But if you have anything like this, uh, be sure to keep it because you can always, always use them on some sort of other piece for yourself. And now for all the fun finishing touches for this dresser. I primed with bin. I did the legs, the base, and the drawers. I gave it two coats of the bin shellac base primer. For the paint color, I used Dixie Belle's Salt Water White. It's a perfect match to my anthropology inspiration piece, giving it a really nice, clean, crisp, modern look. The funny thing is, or maybe not so funny, if I had known I was going to use this brand of paint, which is a silk all-in-one mineral paint, I wouldn't have needed to prime uh, because this paint has a primer and top coat built right in, uh, which is fabulous. But I guess an extra few coats of primer never hurt anything. Um, so I chose a spray finish, but this uh, is a self-leveling paint. So if you wanted to brush it on, you would also get a flawless brushed on finish as, as well. It goes on beautifully if you're spraying, it goes on beautifully if you're brushing. For the finishing touches, I added these gorgeous brass hoop hardware uh, little handles, which I think look phenomenal. And to replicate the brass caps on the bottom of the legs, what I did was I painted the faux brass caps with this golden gemstone mousse, which turned out fabulous. 
So as promised, here's a price breakdown. Uh, I spent $35 on the dresser, uh, $25 on 16 ounces of paint, the silk all-in-one mineral paint, and I did use the almost the full 16 ounces, $30 on the new hardware, $20 on new legs that are similar. Mine were free, but if you're going to get similar legs like this, they'd be $20. And let's just say $20 on all the rest of the supplies. So that's a grand total of $130 compared to the $798 price tag of my inspiration piece. I am thrilled with how this all came together and I cannot wait to hear what you think. So again, here's the before and here's the after. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing this dresser and I have to say, I love the way it turned out. Uh, if you got any value from this video, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give it a like and a comment down below and I can't wait to see you next time. I hope you have a fabulous day. Oh, and feel free to visit me at salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 400 furniture painting tutorials teaching you how to make your furniture beautiful. Now, until next time, have a fabulous day. Bye guys. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast